Hello, and this is the series where I, thanks, a medical student, will be showing you guys how to take amazing notes using Samsung Notes on your Tab S7 Plus. This is the first part where I show you my setup, why I use Samsung Notes, why I use the Tab S7 Plus, and my organization of notes. So stay tuned for parts two and three to really get an insight into how I take notes. So let's get straight into it with first of all talking about my setup. Now I would say this is one of the most important things about learning to take notes and also enjoying to take notes. And this was my first experience at uni but also my first experience using so much technology to assist my note taking. So for example I always use my Tab S7 Plus which we'll go on to talk about in just a minute but on top of that I use my PC desktop setup to help me watch lectures and then take notes on the tab. So this combination of a PC and a tab has been working really well for me in my first semester and so far into the second semester of med school as well. Now on top of that, let's see what else is on my table. So over here we can see that I have a speaker and I think that a speaker is really important because one, to actually hear your lectures in a good amplified voice, if you're not using headphones of course. I would really recommend the Sony SRS X55 speaker um, and it's the one I've been using for like a couple of years now, in fact more than a couple of years probably, and it's never let me down and all I've done is I connect it to my PC and it also Bluetooth connects to my phone. So it's a great two-in-one speaker that I highly recommend. Now, another thing I find very useful having on my table is a clock. And yes, it may seem very simple, but it really does help me to keep track of my time because my room clock is behind me, which is not very convenient. So let's talk about my headphones. Now, my headphones are um, Bluetooth connect to either my phone or I can use a wire to connect them to my PC with the mic if I want to. And they have been really coming in handy so much more this year. And I really enjoyed working with them and I've never had any problem with them. So if anything, I really recommend that you get yourself a good pair of headphones. Now the next thing I really recommend as well is a little lamp or some kind of light on your table. Now I use this lamp, I will try and link it down in the description, but basically it has five levels of brightness which is quite important because as a medical student sometimes we have to work quite late at night and when the rest of the house is sleeping it's not really good to turn on your massive light because it's light is really annoying in the night anyway. <laughs> so I really recommend you get a lamp that gives you that sort of dim but nice light that you can use. Okay, so moving on to the monitor I use, I just use a simple Acer monitor. I will link it down in the description, but to be honest, it's not that big and it's not too small and it does the job fine for me. It's not got anything cool on it. Um, it has a really good IPS and as well as that, it has a refresh rate of one millisecond, which is really good because I like to game on my PC as well. And having this means that I can use my monitor for work and gaming. The keyboard and mouse I use is again, nothing but very special or expensive to be honest. It's just a normal Bluetooth wireless is probably the main bit, Logitech keyboard and mouse. And I got this when I got my PC and I've been using it fine absolutely since. Um, I would say that if you invest in a wireless setup, it is a lot more useful and a lot more tidy and easier to organize than if you get things that are wired. Because I personally really like a clean, tidy setup. So for me, wireless is always the way to go. Now on my wall, I also have a little whiteboard with like a cork board on the side if I need to pin anything up. Now I don't use this whiteboard a lot but yes if I have something to do or something that I want to remember I will write it up on the board and it really does come in handy. And talking about things that come in handy, just underneath that I actually just make calendars. So just on a normal A4 piece of paper, I like to make my calendars and it just helps me to keep track of the date and time, especially when we're in lockdown or a quarantine situation, it's very helpful. And to be honest, there's not really much more to my desk and note taking setup other than my printer, like a little pencil pot, and oh yes, I forgot to mention, I actually have RGB lights all around my table, which again helps to add a bit of a better aesthetic look to my whole setup. And you know, as I said before, I like things to look nice. So that just kind of came under that. 
Also, very quickly, I'm just gonna tell you the spec of my PC. Now, there is no way in the world that you need this spec of PC in order to take good notes. So maybe this is slightly irrelevant, but this is a gaming PC. So it has an i7 processor. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has the NVIDIA 1080 Ti graphics card and it has one terabyte of storage, which I haven't exceeded and I've been using this for like three years now. So this is in no way at all needed for note taking, but I thought I'd just put it out there in case any of you were curious. Okay, so I hope that that setup little tour was helpful for you guys. And as always, if you have any more questions, leave them in the comments or go follow the HSTV Instagram at HSTV Official. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk about in this video is why I use Samsung Notes. And that's actually a really good question because if you watched my previous videos, I've tried out a lot of note-taking apps. I've tried out OneNote, I've tried out NoteShell, but Samsung Notes for me just seemed to click from day one. So let me tell you some of the reasons as to why I've stuck with it. So my first reason is that it's Samsung. So all my devices that I use, including my tab and my phone are Samsung, but as well as that you can get it on PC as well. So I've been able to sync all my notes across my three devices that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and this has come in big 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 use. Now another reason is because Samsung is suited for Samsung devices the usage of the power of the devices I have and the usage of the features comes in very good use for a Samsung compatible app. What I mean by this is features on the S Pen work really nicely with the app, the latency of the S Pen is brilliant and by the way this is probably another reason why I use the tab as well is because of the 120 Hz refresh rate which makes writing a joy to be honest. There are so many great things about Samsung Notes that I could go on for days, but some of the really, really things that click for me are the organization, how you can just make your folders so easy. And I will go into more detail about my organization, but Samsung Notes makes this so much easy. Now, another thing is the fact that you can import PDFs to edit and handwrite on and then save as well with just a touch of a click, like literally, it's so, so easy. Um, and overall, the, all the tools that you get and the fact you can import, export images, audio files, um, and so much great things all in one app. And the fact it's free, can we please just add in there, is amazing. So for now, I'm sticking with Samsung Notes, but if I change, which I doubt I will, I will let you guys know. All right, so let's move on to why I'm using the Samsung Tab S7 Plus to take notes. Why have I not used an iPad or a laptop or a Chromebook instead? And this is a question I get asked a lot. So first of all, let me tell you why I don't use an iPad compared to the Tab. The reason for this is that all my devices that I've used in the past are Samsung and my PC is Windows. And for me, Apple or getting an Apple product just didn't make sense. So that was one of the things that put me off Apple. Now I'm sure that iPads and Apple devices, they're world leading and I have nothing against them. But for me personally, it wasn't the first choice that clicked for me. Now, before the Samsung Tab S7 Plus came out, I was actually really confused as to what to buy because I did want to transition on to digital note taking, but I couldn't find a really good Android tablet out there. But at the same time, this, ta this tablet came out um, just as I was about to start university. And yes, it was a very expensive buy, but let me tell you, it is the best tablet I could recommend to you ever. And I genuinely do think that this tab is an underdog um, for the world of tablets and uh, you know, iPads, you better watch out because this video is gonna get you guys to buy a tablet. I cannot recommend it enough. The display, the power, the storage, the apps you can use, the S Pen, the battery, everything has been flawless. The speakers, the fact I can watch lectures, I can have three tabs that open, it's not slowed down even once. I've had video calls open, I've had PowerPoints open, and I've been taking notes at the same time, and it has not slowed down one little bit. It's never run out of charging, and I'm not even joking, but I use it for like eight to 10 hours a day, full on note taking, and 
it's just not disappointed me one bit. So you can say that I am actually in love with the Tab S7 Plus and I've been using it since September and it's now been almost six months and I've found no flaws with it whatsoever. Now for the last little part of this video, um, by the way, thanks if you're still watching this and do comment down below if you have found it helpful in any way. The last part of this video is about my personal organization of notes and how you can create folders and easy to access notes. So let's hop into some screen recordings that I recorded and I'll take you through exactly how I make a new folder and how I organize my notes when we're about to start a new topic or even a new semester. Okay, so showing you my setup quickly, going into Samsung Notes, I have got three main folders, my MBCHB Year 1, To Do and Study Group. Now, I've split up my folders into Semester 1 and Semester 2, and then more folders inside that, depending on the units we do. And then further folders, depending on even more um, classifications and categories I want to have, and it just makes organising and finding notes um, really easy. It's also very easy in Samsung Notes to create a new folder, so for example in the anatomy topic um, all you have to do is press the three dots at the top right hand corner, press add folder, name the folder that you want, so for example our unit was going to be embryology and the folder has now been added. Now clicking on that folder and then clicking the plus sign at the bottom right will let you add a note into the new folder. So guys, thank you so much for watching and giving so much love to my notes over the past few months. I hope that this first part of the note taking series has been helpful for you and answered some of your questions. Now do stay tuned because there is going to be a part two and a part three coming out very very soon. So this is going to be the end of the first part. I hope you all enjoyed. Comment down below or DM me on the Instagram or email me if you have any questions about this video or future videos. And I will see you all in the next part. Goodbye.